if you see that, uh, you w walking with Kate in your hands, then yeah. you, that makes it all worth. That's what it's all about. I mean, she was, uh, she was in my wife's stomach when we won the cup. Now she's here and we're in the championship. So I want her to, to experience that and be a part of that. So I'm, we're hoping to take care of it and, and bring home this, the duel and get this championship as well. Talking about game six, it was unbelievable. It was such a physical fight. It was hard work. You were so tired, but you were about 35 minutes, most of all. Yeah, it was it, it was tough for myself. I started off a little bit slow. I didn't. Uh, I tried to be aggressive early. Shots weren't falling, but uh, I got some post ups and, and, and late late in the stretch. You know, I told you know coach, you know, to try to get me inside a little bit, and my teammates trusted in me. And I'm just so grateful to be able to put myself and our team in a position to. Uh, To, to you know get to the final that was that's what we wanted to do and we came out and did it so I'm really happy and just and just just grateful for this opportunity what was the moment that you thought well it will work out um I think late in that fourth quarter when we ran when we went on a run we were up 10 10 zero yeah we went a 10-0 run and uh, the crowd was behind us and I mean it, it was like you said there was a lot of calls that, that you know they, they were they were there were some were physical some some of them were you know a little touch fouls but the referees you know towards the end of the game they called it fair and Uh, we couldn't let anything, you know, get to us. You know, we couldn't let our emotions get the best of us. So uh, we stuck with it and closed it out at the end when it was when it was most important. So I'm glad we could do that. A couple of days off and then in the finals. Yeah, yeah, Tuesday. So uh, we know the game is on uh, Sunday uh, between uh, Zuola and Den Bosch. And eight o'clock. Yeah, we don't. I mean, we were ready for either opponent. So I mean, it's it's going to be that's a tough battle series, and who knows what's going to happen. But we're going to uh, enjoy this next days off. We're actually a day off because we'll be back here Saturday. And uh, we're going to stay in rhythm and routine and, you know, and hopefully uh, just, you know, still one on the road if we have to, if not protect our home court. So we'll see what happens. See you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Jeter, congratulations. You reached the finals, man. Yeah, it was, this was a tough series. Like, it was, they're a great team and uh, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. And we just wanted to come out here and show a better performance. We didn't play the way we're usually playing on Tuesday. We kind of disrespected the game of basketball the way we played it. We wanted to come out with a lot of energy and make sure that it was going to be a great game, especially for the fans. And we did it. We won, and we're, we're proud of this game, and we're in the finals, so we're happy about that. You remember the moments, uh, goosebumps. Uh, we were in the lead. You, knew, you took two, three throws, and you heard MVP from the audience. It's just one of those special moments, man. And I just, I'm so thankful just to be here and just for these fans because they support us. Even though they wasn't happy with us Tuesday after that game, they stuck with us. They still had confidence in us for this game, and they packed it out, and they was very loud, and we can't win without them, you know, I mean, especially when we play here. Like, they give us that extra energy. We need that, and it's just a proud moment. And, yeah, it was a special moment there. You know I mean, like, it's, it's a special place here in Groningen. It looked like on the, on the bench that you went on the red. You were so tired, it looked like. I was tired. I mean, I got knocked to the ground frustrated I mean it was just it just you want to win this game so bad for your team for the for the fans just for everybody because you you put so much into the season and you just want to win so hard and um, we pulled it out and I just want to give it everything you know what I mean we look at Dewan, somebody who gave everything he had and he his season got cut short so and he and that's something that you can't take for granted you every game you got to be like it's your last because you never know and that's how I wanted to play tonight you know what I mean especially for him because you know what I mean he wants to he wants to be out here so bad he tells us every time how bad he wants to play and you just want to give everything you got because you never know when it could be your last game what are you going to do on Sunday night 8 p.m. We're going to watch the game. We're going to relax. I mean, we got to get as much uh, rest as possible. I mean, we're not worried about who's going to win. I mean, we're in the finals. What we're going to do is just focus, try to just stay, stay, stay ready. And it's going to be a good game, game seven. You know what I mean? Let the best team win. They got to play going again, though. I'm looking at a happy man. Yeah, I'm very happy. You know, uh, we fought hard today, and uh, it was a good win. You know, a good win for the crowd because last game we – Last game was all bad. I don't know what happened with that, so I got no comment on that. But uh, I'm just happy that we can just come here and uh, pick up a, a good win after, you know, a bad loss. Start of fourth quarter, a lead of 10 points, and I saw you around looking at the audience to cheer them up. Yeah. How was your feeling? Uh, I was just overcome with emotions, you know. Um, our, the crowd does such a good job, you know, having our back. So, you know, I just wanted to be a little bit louder, you know, kind of get light and a little rattled. And I feel like it, uh, you know, worked out in our benefit. You came in January to Groningen, and now a couple of months later, you just experienced all this with a lot of people, and you reached the finals over here in Holland. 
What, what do you say about that? I mean, it's a great feeling, you know. Uh, coming here, they told me that this is a winning team, and, uh, you know, it's definitely something I want to be a part of, you know. So I'm happy that they gave me the opportunity to come play here. How are you physical? Are you tired? How, how's your body? Uh, you know, I was pretty amped this game. Uh, when I'm overcome with emotions, I'm just, I feel like I can go another quarter, you know. So, uh, honestly, I'm not tired, you know. But this two-day break is going to be nice, you know, wait to see who we play in the uh, the finals, you know, and I'm just excited to be a part of it, you know. Do you, do, do you mind who's going to be the opponent in finals? No, I mean, I feel like if we just come to play, uh, you know, I feel like we're a hard team to beat, you know, but uh, the top four teams, you know, they're all good teams. I mean, Leiden is a great team, you know, Zwolle and Dimbos. So, I mean, it's not going to be easy, you know, everyone just needs to come to play. And you're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to it. So, you know, just to be in the situation, you know, I'm just happy for the fans. I'm happy for my team. I mean, I feel like we all deserve it. You know, we've been through a lot of diversity this year, so. We like to see your smile. Hey, man, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm a little forceful and a little aggressive, but I like to smile. You know, I like to please, the, you know, the crowd and everything like that. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Thank you. Jason DeRusso back in town. Maandag ga je voor je inburgeringsexamen, dus we gaan het in Nederlands doen. Hoe is het om het weer in Groningen te zijn? Het is heel leuk. Het is heel leuk. Ik, uh, ik heb uh, nooit uh, een wedstrijd gezien van het publiek en uh, het, was, het was heel leuk. En het uh, team uh, speelt goed en uh, ze zijn uh, terug in de finale. Het is uh, heel leuk voor de club en voor, de, voor het publiek en uh, ik ben blij dat, uh, dat ik het uh, heb gezien. Very good Dutch of you, very good, very good. Well, let's make it easy for you now. Uh, in Germany you did very well with St. Oliver, you uh, reached the finals. You lost at the end, but how was your season in Germany? Uh, you know, in, in Pro A, it's a little different than, than other leagues uh, in other countries. Like the two finalists go to the BBL, and that was our uh, club's whole goal. And uh, I was happy to, to be a part of uh, the team that got them back there. And uh, great organization, great fans, really good fans. Uh, Can you compare it with Holland? Can you compare it with Groningen? Uh, the fans, yeah, they were very passionate, same as here. Um, and uh, like I said, it was you know a real professional club. I, I had a lot of really good teammates, and I learned a lot. And uh, yeah, it was it was a, it was a good experience for me. Okay, back to Dono again into the finals, and you, you know how that works, of course, the finals. Uh, what do you think about the team? They're, they have a really good team, and if, if they were completely healthy, I think they'd be the best, the favorite for sure. And I actually, you know, I still think they're the favorite. They're playing well. Uh, they're obviously well coached. Lance Jeter, Mark Sanchez. Uh, Bill Clark, Thomas. They all, Lots coming back from an injury. Yeah. I mean, you know, they have really good players. They, they seem like they have really good chemistry. And, yeah, I mean, there's, I think uh, they have as good a chance as any. Did you sit on your own Tribune uh, right now? Uh, yeah, I did. And that was, that was really crazy. When I first walked in and I saw it, you know, Rose and I took a couple of pictures. But, you know, I still can't believe it. And uh, it really touched my heart that, you know, five years here and, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully that stays around for a while. So, you told me some news about you and Rose. Yeah, we gaan trouwen again. We gaan trouwen. Jullie gaan trouwen. Wat gaat? Wanneer gaat het gebeuren? Ik denk volgende jaar, maar wij hebben een dat dat date. Datum. Datum. Yeah, we hebben geen datum nu, maar we gaan zien. I know a nice place for your for your party time. Then where's that? Look around. Here. Ah, yeah, that'd be sweet. They got to put the court up, though. <laughs> it had, the court has to be up, so. Well, uh, congratulations in advance, and I uh, hope to see you again. I hope to see you too, man. All right, see you.